What's up, everybody? Welcome to Final Edit. My name's Jeff, and I know I don't make a lot of videos here anymore, but I have recently took up with drone and quadcopter hobbying, so you see a lot of those videos on this channel now. Right now, I'm going to do a review for the 501C Hubson uh, quadcopter. This is what it looks like. Okay, it looks exactly like the 501S, except it doesn't have the 5.8 gigahertz transmitter to do FPV okay this is the controller that you get I did have an issue with it when we first got it this is a Christmas gift for my son um, with it showing like a no battery on the receive and no satellites so we couldn't get it to properly bind so we had to actually set the controller on the drone to get it to bind and then go through uh, s some simple steps. I noticed other people were having s very similar issues so I wanted to put that in the video right away. Other than that it's been pretty good and right now we're gonna take you to some video. Hey, here we are in the backyard me and my son um, I'm recording with my cell phone and he is actually recording with the drone this is like his second flight and his first flight outside he actually flew it in the house just to check it out a little bit and here he does kind of a stunt land on a bench and it is snowy outside but as you can see the picture is not too bad for the little drone there he is showing the drone off and testing out how to turn it around and stuff like that this thing is ultra stable and surprisingly it's it's peppy enough and it's got like a 12 gps satellite lock right now so i'm not sure if it uses the genolis uh satellites or just the american satellites but it does seem to be very stable in flight around the yard here and as you can see he's just checking it out, checking out the controls. So, there he learns how to turn it around a little. But here you can see, although my cam is moving a lot because I'm on a cell phone, how ultra stable the GPS and altitude holds. Now he takes off for some height. Surprisingly, the thing actually does really well height-wise. And this is a sturdy built little quadcopter. It's uh, about the same size as a Bebop 2. Very quiet compared to my solo 3dr maybe the same amount of noise or less as the bebop 2 from parrot and here you see its hover capabilities it could be the day or whatever but this thing is ultra stable on this flight and this is really the second flight and first flight outside And here you go, seeing my visual of him wanting to land on the bench, and I'm talking him out of it and say, just land on the sidewalk first because you don't really know how to use it yet. But uh, he does it. Not too bad. He hits a little snow with his blade. But surprisingly, the blades are much more sturdier than what would be on a solo 3dr they're just plastic blades i guess but the 3dr blades are kind of like plastic and fiberglass mix and they do shatter pretty fast so these blades here are better built and something is quieter maybe the blades are quieter or the motors but it's much quieter than a 3dr solo now i'm not comparing the two just that if you've seen the 3DR Solo, it's a much louder, much bigger drone. 
And since that's what I run with, that's what I have to compare it to. So now he goes and does the stunt land on the bench, which I've gotten in trouble doing stuff like that. <laughs> so, all right, and then here's his point of view from the drone. Told him to go up high and check out things. As you can see, the camera's actually doing a really good job here. Now, you have to understand, he can't see FPV. This is not an FPV cam. And this is his first flight, so he doesn't know to turn it real slow for the good shots or anything like that. All you could do is edit it afterwards. But the clarity of the cam is actually pretty good, you know. And there's me. He's taking it up again, just above the roof line here. Now, it does bench, it does bank turns a lot. I, I don't know if that's because um, he's using it that way, but it also will just nicely turn and pan. It is quick on the pan, so you just have to ever so gently turn it but this is more of a hobby toy drone too so and he's only 13 so it's a perfect gift there you see he's playing with the controls and just getting to know his drone now if you see the 501c the 501c you know does not come with FPV and in case you're thinking, well, I could get the 501C and then use the 501S controller. Yeah, you could, but you still wouldn't have FPV because it doesn't have a built-in transmitter from what I'm told. Until I see otherwise, it does not. Here he's walking down the parking lot with it. And you can see it's like walking a dog. It's pretty easy to do. This is probably one of the easiest drones I've seen in action to use. Okay guys, that's my review of the 501C. Get out there and fly and have some fun.